Hello everyone, my name is Natalia Lauk and this is tutorial for polar rhythm, how to play D major scale uh, three against four. So you're going to have triples in the left hand and quadruplets in the right hand. So uh, just if you first, first step is to practice separately with the metronome, for example. to go for three octaves in the left hand in the right hand so with the same tempo so you were one two three one two three one two three four one two three four one two three four one two so when you get this solid then you can try and start putting hands together first of all you gotta go extremely slowly okay so remember there are some checkpoints that you will be able to um, stop and then move on. So first checkpoint is this one, right? So pinky on D in the left hand, first finger right here in the right hand. And you would go like this, one. And that's where you would stop. In the left hand, it's gonna be G with a second finger. In the right hand, it's gonna be F, okay? And now, this is the tricky part, because first of all, you have to think about the fingering, okay? So if you start right here with a second finger, so left hand goes one, two, and then you go into three and two, and you're gonna stop right there. So you're gonna play three, two, one, sorry, two, one, three, two, okay? Two, one, three, two, that's what you have to remember. In the right hand, <laughs> you're like, it's gonna be two, three, four, one, two, because you're gonna cover kind of five notes in this two, three, four, one, two. So let's try. You're starting both with the second fingers, left hand on, on G, right hand on A. And again, you're stopping on the second fingers, okay? So let's now try to put it together. We're gonna stop in between. So that's the first one. Okay, now we're gonna start again with this note. try to st stop with stop only here without stopping in between was it together were you able to match with those checkpoints okay now let's try to add one more so again you have your second fingers right and you're gonna keep going in the left hand it's gonna be this two one and then you go four and three two one four three two one and in the right hand, you're gonna go two, three, one, two, three, right? Like this. That's another your checkpoint. F sharp in the uh, left hand, B in the right hand. Let's try it again. Second fingers. Okay, now let's try to add three of them, okay? successfully made to this point uh, so that's just the strategy just keep adding up right in this case it's very convenient again you stop on the third fingers both on third fingers right and then the left hand you're gonna continue two one three right so three two one three three two one three okay and here you have third finger as well yeah, let's try. That's another checkpoint. Another third, three fingers, right? Interesting. So you had two twos and now you have three threes. So let's try it again from the beginning. Okay, so here are your strategy. Let's try one more time and add one more. three in the left hand and four in the right hand okay well you have to keep going sorry that was wrong of me <laughs> so three in the left hand oh okay now I lost my track now I have to start from beginning to the top 
and to the bottom is the same routine. is going to be tricky going down. Just keep in mind that you have to practice going down separately from going up because the left hand I think I don't think I did the right finger at the end, but I think you will be able to. So let me give you one more time your check points, okay? So you should end up two octaves apart. Let me see if you should, yeah, you should be able to see that in the video. So that's your check point. That's your first check point. Yeah, G and A, then. That's another check point, E and C sharp. B and F sharp, B and F sharp, okay. well, I hope that video was helpful, good luck in your practice in polar rhythm, let's actually, before I let you go, let's try to go faster. Try to go faster, but maybe you will be, it will be really clear. Good luck.